coming our way. It's still a little bit longer until that officially makes its way into the area. Some of us getting a break from the rain, though. This is a look at that camera in Metropolis. We don't have the rain falling, but similar to what we saw in that camera in Carbondale, we do still have those dark gray skies in the background where we're still seeing a decent amount of rainfall still falling this evening is across parts of western Kentucky back off into northwest Tennessee, and then we do have one more little band of showers trying to make its way in from the west. So we'll keep a close eye on that. It won't be anything substantial as it makes its way through. Right now, the heaviest rain is extending from south of Madisonville down through Princeton, Benton, really widespread rain across Callaway County. So near the Murray area and then southern Graves County that extends down into western Tennessee as well. This rain will continue to work its way to the east and out of the area over the next couple of hours. So we will finally start to dry out through the overnight hours. Until then, a little bit of rain and of course some chilly temperatures. It only gets cooler this weekend, so enjoy the 60s if you're one of the lucky ones who are still seeing them. Right now, Cape Girardeau is at 64 degrees along with Sparta, Mount Vernon at 62, where we see some of that heavier rainfall falling. It's a bit cooler. We've got Paducah back at 54 degrees, Union City and Murray both coming in at 52. Showers tonight will eventually push off to the east and then we're seeing that cooler air really start to settle in by the time we get to the weekend, both Sunday and Monday. We're actually talking about that frost coming back as well. So a big change from the 80s that we saw just yesterday. So wide look of the radar. There's that area of low pressure that's keeping that rain around across western Kentucky. It will continue to work its way out of the area. So by the time we get to about midnight tonight, We'll start to see those rain chances dropping off, but with that little line that's trying to make its way in from the west, we could still see a few isolated showers up until then. After midnight, we start to dry out. Tomorrow, we should wake up to some sunshine. However, we are going to see a little bit more in the way of cloud cover as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. Aside from the clouds, though, we're dry, so that's good news if you have any weekend plans. Storm Track 3 app, you want to keep that around because my goodness, it's a big change this weekend. By Saturday, we're only talking 57 degrees for that high temperature. By Sunday, not a whole lot warmer, not warmer at all. 56, so very cool, well below average for this time of year. And I know a lot of folks have already gotten a jump on some of that planting. Keep an eye on those low temperatures because by the time we get to Sunday and Monday morning, we're talking temperatures back down into the low to mid 30s, and that will allow for some frost to form. So that could damage some of those plants that are still uh, fairly sensitive. We do warm up next week. We start to warm back up into the 60s. However, this is still below average for this time of year, and it's certainly not the 80s. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> we missed those already, though. I do. <laughs> All right. Thank you, JC.